When I meet young students, uh, first year students or leading cert students who come to us and want to know what, what they should do, you know, they plan going to the university and think about possible subjects and uh, consider studying a language, I always tell them, look, you should study what you like most, what really interests you. You, know, you should study what, where you expect that you will find some sort of fulfillment, uh, something that you find really exciting. Studying a language actually means everything. Yeah? So it means studying life, it means studying the world. The world that concerns us is what things mean to us. That's what we find in literature. Yeah? So it's not enough just to uh, study the yeah, technicalities of language. Yeah? It is um, studying a language means to understand how meaning is being created. And that's, that's actually what we can study, what can be demonstrated through literature. Yeah? So this is what happens in literature. I always believe that uh, people underestimate the value and the power of language as well. Uh, language is something we encounter each day, we are dealing with it in many different ways. We hear language, we, we speak language, we see language, uh, so it, with a lot of different senses we experience language. And it has a lot of power on us and we can have power with language. So I think it is very fascinating to understand uh, language. Well, being a lecturer is, uh, is the most rewarding job, I guess. Yeah, for me that's actually the only. Uh, the only job, the only profession I would have ever considered seriously. I really enjoy seeing the students learning and I love all the questions that they ask. Um, and they really, I think, enjoy the answers. I really love teaching and I, I'm always excited when, when a new year starts. Um, and if, when I get to know new people, new students, um, to see them grow in their well, in their own lives, so to say, to be, become new people. I really get to know the students, I really get to see them as they grow throughout the process. I teach in first year as well, and when you see uh, the difference between a student in first year and final year, it's sometimes really amazing. So really the close contact with the students is great. Feel able to ask questions and maybe not feel silly about it, not feel that it's a silly question, you know. But it's a good thing, it's definitely they have to ask questions because the world needs people who ask questions. Really embrace every situation that they get to make mistakes. So mistakes are normal, it, it's everyone does mistakes, makes mistakes. I perhaps just made one there just saying this. So um, mistakes are part of our lives and mistakes are a, a very crucial part of, of language learning. Without mistakes we could say we don't learn really. In first year German, when you come into uh, your language class for three hours a week, you will be with the same people in first year, just in first year, but at least in first year. And in our experience, they, uh, that group will become your ready-made gang of friends and they will be the people that you will know throughout your career in UCC. I did my undergrad here. I had a great time. It was a really, really uh, worthwhile experience. Um, and I would definitely recommend it. It's not just about accumulating knowledge in a certain area of knowledge, in a certain discipline, like in a science or something like that, but it is, um, um, it is a program of study that makes you think. A program of study that will help you to become creative yourself uh, in your mind and with the language that you learn. So you're going to study a foreign language that will help you to understand the nature of language as such.